customer is at the heart of everything we do. We're a very service-driven industry. So post-COVID pandemic, we took a look at our, really our key functions and where we could improve and enhance those. So we've made some significant investments around people. Um, we've brought in further expertise into both the commercial functions and for supply chain. It's really important for us that we maintain our agility and our flexibility for our customers. Our markets are very quickly moving and changing. And then in terms of um, other technologies we've invested across the UK in terms of the best machinery enhancements and technologies in order to be able to maintain that flexibility and service for our customers. We have the ability to have the significant scale of a global organisation but we also have the vision that we operate on a local level with our customers. So we have the ability to produce for all of our customers needs whether that be for 3B format here um, or for a size 6 for larger quantities. It's really important that we're able to offer the full spread for our customers. From a UK operations perspective we've got some of the best invested um, machinery in the UK. All the way through from commercial teams to our operations we're laser focused on, on what our customers needs are. Being part of a global business also enables us to leverage our network. We have global expertise in the likes of innovation, technical capability and it really it means that we can um, use that knowledge muscle in terms of bringing some of those innovations to our customers also. So AR Pack Packaging brought us not only a hugely expanded European footprint, but it brought with them a significant amount of new technologies for our customers. AR Packaging has also brought us into some new segments, so for example for the beauty segment. Um, and it's meant that we can really leverage a wide range of products across our customers. So for example now where we have our plastic reduction, uh, especially around containers and trays, we have a fully comprehensive offering for our customers, uh, regardless of what their needs are. So it really has brought us lots and lots of advantages um, and also a great group of really talented people. We launched Paper Seal back in 2019 into the primary cuts for, for meats in the supermarkets as a result of a reduction across plastic trays. And so we're concentrating on moving on to the next generation. So for example, we launched Paper Seal Cook, which is a replacement for a CPEP tray earlier on this year and we're also working on innovations such as our produce punnet. Uh, one of the key focuses on that punnet is that it will dwell at the same time as a plastic, uh, a plastic alternative. What that means for our customers is that we're trying to make the decisions to do something that delivers a sustainability benefit and easy choice. It means that our customers can then move um, ticks and boxes in terms of uh, potential plastic reduction initiatives, but also now as customers move back into a more normal world after the pandemic, they're willing to see suppliers face Face to face. We have started again doing some face to face innovation days. So in terms of all the innovations and how that sets us up for the future, we want to be ahead of the market, we want to be investing in what we see coming down the line. I think that places graphic packaging and our customers in the perfect position to win um, in this marketplace, but also in terms of making sure that we drive those sustainability goals for our customers, it just means that we're on the forefront and hopefully again we make it an easy choice for customers to choose graphic packaging. Thank you.